What is up, guys? It is XX Modern Tutorials, and as you see, I have a new screen recorder, Hypercam. I don't have that stupid Webcam Max thing anymore, so that's good. So, I wouldn't have that annoying Webcam Max thing at the top. So, let's get on to the video. So, to model what I wore, you will need an Xbox 360, a USB a saved game file, and Modio 4 Beta. So, I will have a link in the description for Modio 4 Beta and the saved game file that I'm going to use. The saved game file, all it is, is the mod menu. So, if you want to go on the internet, look up some mod menus, and if it's a saved game, download it and drag it to your desktop, and you're ready to go. So, once you have a saved game that you like, or if you're using the one that I give you, that I provide you, it's going to be a Fire Pit V2. It's really good. It's a really good mod menu for zombies on Lord of War on any map. So, but it works best with their eyes, I think. So you just open up Mario 4 Beta once you do that. Open it up, and this is only the beta. So if it's a little laggy or glitchy, um, don't worry. It's just the beta. It's not your computer or anything. So once you open this up, you turn to your Xbox once you open Mario, and then. You will go on to World at War, put in your World at War disc, and then you're gonna uh, um, skip through the skip through everything on the when it's loading. Then you're gonna want to click um, on the solo campaign. Then you're gonna then you're gonna want to start a brand new campaign, like new game. Don't click resume game if you're like on the middle of a campaign. Don't worry, it doesn't screw up your campaign. It doesn't do anything. It just creates a new campaign file. So. You click new game, and then once you do that, as soon as you get into the actual game, you gotta save and quit, and then dashboard. And then, um, if you have a hard drive, it will save to your hard drive, unless you have it to automatically save to USB. So that's when you want to plug in your USB and then move the save, the saved game to your USB. Now, once you do that, once you start the new campaign, save it, and then move it to your USB. Plug your USB into your computer. Okay, so once you plug it in, I'm waiting for the, oh, here it is. All right, so I'm just going to close this. All right, so once you plug it in, you click open a save. Then, since you um, move the saved game to your desktop, it will be easy to get. That's why I wanted you to move it to your desktop. So what you want to do is look for it. It's right here, the save game, SVG document. So you're going to want to double click on it. And then it's right here. And then once you do that, you click Save to Device, and then you click your profile from Xbox. It's not going to be like the actual like profile name like these. It's not going to be these actual profile names. It's just going to be like numbers like this. So if it's like the numbers like these, um, you're going to want to double click on it, and then it's going to say Saving. Saving. It takes a while for me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it just takes a while. So it's saving. And then let's just wait for this to finish. It's not, oh, there you go. Okay. So once it finishes saving, exit out of this, and then unplug your USB. And then you're gonna want to plug your USB into your Xbox. Load up World at War, click on the play game, and then once you have your USB plugged into your Xbox and you loaded up World at War, you wanna you wanna go back to your campaign, your solo campaign, and then click resume game. And then it should load and kick you out of the game, and then it should say and then it should say you have like Fire Pit V2 mod menu. Like it's always gonna have the little like like at the at the right side of the screen in the middle, all the way to the right in the middle, it's gonna say Fire Pit V2. And then that's when you know that you have the mod menu. So once you have that, go on to a zombie game, Xbox Live, Xbox Live Zombies, Private Match, Solo, Split Screen. It works and all of that. Just click on Zombies, whatever map. I personally prefer to rise. That's when that's where all the mods work. Match on Totem, skipping rounds, and certain mods won't work on there. I've tried it on there. All mods work on Derise. So if you have Derise, 
I prefer you use their eyes. So just load up their eyes, and then on solo, you can do whatever. Same thing with Private Match and Xbox Live. Xbox Live, all your mods, like the actual mod menu works only for your host, and you can have a force host button, so you, that won't be a problem. So if this helped you out and this worked for you, which I'm sure it does because it worked for me, so please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. So yeah, this has been XX Mod Tutorials teaching you how to mod World at War with Modular for Beta. Thanks for watching. Peace.